to this day. To this day. Break? The nigga that got body by pushing T? I hit him clean more times. I beat him. I hope so. Okay. 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 Ah! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember my penis swelling up because I did it so much that first time. I must. And so I remember dipping my penis in warm water. Michael filled the cup up with water. I don't have so any like unpleasant memories other than not being able to pee. The tour was the start of this sexual, like, couple relationship. I would go visit Jimmy, um, make sure he was okay, but Jimmy was always, you can go, Mom, Just you pay can go, attention Mom. to how he they set me all of this up. I, I missed him. You know, the I really music, my son, the photos, uh, not being with him. conversations. Michael would like it if you, if you would bend over and, like, spread open your cheeks. Put them out! Spread the cheeks. And then he would masturbate. And he liked. Um, Look at that picture, man. Is that not the I perfect picture to put right there? Look at the look on his face. It's like a look of being caught. Right? <laughs> when you're doing something you're not supposed to be doing and you get caught. That's the, the, the nervous look you make. Like the, the semi-smile on your face. Like the production. I, I, I got to give them credit for the production, man. The way this shit is set up. This will really get you on the accuser's side. And if you're really not, if you really don't know of the case and you're not looking, you're not really looking to uh, dig deep into it or really think, think about it a lot, then you'll be, you'll, you'll, <laughs> you'll be persuaded just by watching this documentary alone. Uh, for those people who aren't, who aren't really deep into it, who don't care to check for it, they'll just watch this documentary because it was on HBO They'll be persuaded easily because this shit is set up beautifully. And, and, this, and this is classic filmmaking right here, man. This is why this is why the director of the film did not want to include anybody from the other side. They didn't want to include the family at all. They really wanted you to paint this picture. They really wanted to paint this picture. But anyway, I'm your boy Bushido Spirits. Um... This is a one-off. I'm here to talk about Leaving Neverland Part 1. Now, I haven't seen Part 2 yet. I'll get on that uh, after this video goes up. I'll talk about Part 2. Uh, but I'm just going to describe... I'm just going to give my opinions of Part 1 and what I think about it. And these are just my opinions on, on the film. Uh, I'm sure other people have different opinions. Um, but yeah, before I start, be sure to like the video, subscribe, uh, click on the notif notification icon to let you know when I drop videos. And let's get this show on the road. Now, the first part of this documentary is really is it, it really wants you to sympathize with the accusers in this first part. That's why a lot of people were saying that the first part was born. They don't they don't jump right into it. They don't jump right into the sexual abuse. Um, they start off just talking about the families of these gentlemen. They talk about um, what all the, what the family did, where they came from and how they got introduced to Michael Jackson. And they really want you they really want you to not blame the family for putting these boys in this situation. They don't want you to believe that these parents sacrificed their kids for money. They really want you to believe that the way they set it up, like it's beautiful how they do that. <laughs> and also, if you look at it, they got a lot of pictures, a lot of pictures. The family was way involved with Michael Jackson. They were around the ranch. So of course, obviously they would have pictures, but the way they utilize these pictures, the way they put certain pictures on the screen to really vilify Michael Jackson, like you, you can you can just look look at look at what I got on the screen right now. They have a lot of pictures like that in this documentary, a lot of pictures, a lot, <laughs> and also it's very descriptive. Like they play the, this haunting music in the background, and they have this guy, these two dudes, just talk about it, just talk about all the sexual acts. You know, Michael would touch me. Dun, dun, dun. Like they don't do the dun dun dun, but you know what I mean. It's just this haunting music in the background. They really set the the, the tone for the, uh, the the remainder of the documentary in the first parts. 
So I mean, this is this will this will easily persuade anyone uh, that's really not up on this case. This will easily persuade anybody that's kind of on the fence and somebody that doesn't really care about this. Because it's, it's made, it's, it's a well put together documentary. Well put together. Right? And also, um, like I was going back to the pictures, in the documentary, they get, like I said, they get very descriptive. And the accuser starts talking about all the places they had sex. And they make sure to show you pictures of those specific places that they're talking about. They made sure to show you those photos. Let you know that the places he's describing actually exist. So it's it's just great filmmaking overall. Now whether or not you believe that, it's up to you. Cause this shit can easily they could easily make up these stories. They can easily take these photos from their their fucking album book, their photo album. They can easily take certain pictures out of of what they took at his mansion, and they can make up stories around that shit. They could easily do that. I mean, whether or not you believe this is up to you. Like I don't, I don't really fuck with. It. I don't believe it. Um, <laughs> like I personally don't believe this shit. But I do understand how you can easily be persuaded by what you see here, just the way they set it up. So when you watch this film, just think about it. Just think about all the things that they think about all the things that the director is doing, and don't really let that persuade you. Like make I want him to give these hard facts. They also um also. During this documentary, they uh play conversations like phone conversations or whatnot, and in the phone conversations, uh, nothing really, no evidence there either. It's just Michael Jackson talking to the little boy on the phone, and they really play Michael out to be somebody that's really lonely and needy, somebody that needs a friend, you know, this big superstar celebrity that's all alone, that's that's never around people. And he's made this uh, pack with this little boy. So they really play up that that Michael being alone aspect. Like, they really play that shit up. And it sort of... Um, it sort of gives context as to why he would be with these little boys, right? So uh, they did that in here. Um, also, let me... What else they did? What else they did? Also, both the, vic- both the accusers, uh, the victims here, they... Um, they they talk about these sexual acts. They talk. They don't really talk about um, the sexual abuse as abuse. Like I think at one point in the documentary, the dude says it, it. They don't feel anger or hate. They don't. It. <laughs> the dude described it as like being in a relationship, being in in your first relationship with somebody. So I mean, just just how they put it together. So you have the dude, the two dudes talking about it, and nobody in the documentary is angry, has an angry tone, seems bitter. And they do that on purpose. They make these people not bitter on purpose. Because, like, come on, if you were a parent and you just realized that your, your child was being fucked by this grown-ass man and you didn't know about it, you would, ha- you would feel some type of way. But they make sure that the parents and the accusers in the documentary have only good things to say about Michael Jackson. And that this this creepy shit of sleeping with these little boys is just something that he did and he was misunderstood. Like, they really try not to... <laughs> they really try hard not to not make you hate the parents or the accusers. 